Okay, my name is Laurent Sittler. I'm French Microsoft 365 architect and I'm working for Humano located in Montreal. Here, my uh, personal information if you have any question or suggestion. So, today, uh, the demo I would like to show you is about an alternative of Google Analytics based on Microsoft extension that allow you to add additional KPI on your SharePoint site collection. To have a Matomos Analytics server, you can use them we use one on on-premise environment on, or online. You need an app catalog of tenant or site collection, a modern site collection, of course, because you are using a Matomo SPFIC extension. And to deploy them, you need a console with PNP PowerShell or Office 365 CLI. So let me show you on my blog the tutorial that I used to uh, this demo. So for several reasons, a lot of companies don't want or can or can't use Google Analytics for several reasons, for security them or whatever. So another solution is Matomo Analytics. Why? Because it really looks like for like Google Analytics on several features uh, similar. You have additional uh, in, in features like GDPR for Europe SharePoint, and you can use a customizable open source. So this is really great. It already exists an um, SPL fix with an add-in uh, for SharePoint available by uh, and provided by uh, Matomo directly, but this is a little bit complicated. So this is why I develop uh, myself um, an extension for Google for SharePoint Analytics, and I will show you with a Matomo server in Docker Compose. So to do that, you have just to copy paste this one on a specific compost file, so for that I'll use this one like that. Copy paste. Okay, there we go. Just with that, you can run a Docker with Matomo server. Matomo up. With this compost file, you will deploy automatically a MySQL server autonomous with uh, a Matomo server too. So you have to wait MySQL server is uh, launched, and after that, the Matomo one is uh, already too. Next, by the way, um, prerequisite. So you need a tracker, a tracking site ID. I'll show you how to get one uh, directly from the Matomo server. And after that, because I'm in a Mac, uh, Mac environment, I use this. Uh, um, this uh, really is based on, on the bash uh, scripts. To learn the bash script, you have to go. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, you have to go to. Uh, you have to unzip. Sorry. User. You have to unzip the archive file. That's not a mode. Mm. Let this one set up. After that, you have to allow the uh, executable script on bash. So to do that, you have just a slash mod plus x. Very well, it's OK. So maybe the server now is ready. Yes, Matomo is ready now. So you have on localhost. That. that. In uh, the on the file, I use, I'm using a, a simple credential, like a username is Matomo, and the password is password01. So, Matomo to connect to the dashboard one. Awesome. So, this page, uh, you, show, you show this page each time uh, the Matomo have no data. So, when you go to this, you have the dashboard. It's really like Google Analytics. So, you can use some settings to parameter to set up your, your tracking ID. So you can easily uh, change some information. Like this one, I use here Matomo demonstration for my KPI. And for the site, I use my uh, SharePoint URL. Like that. And there we go. So the site ID is this one. So now, how to use it? the extension of PowerShell. So this is quite simple because I'm using uh, some script to allow you to deploy directly uh, some information. You have just to follow this uh, this script. So for the first one, you have to log into 
you sharp on sites so by using login and you type the URL. Just online dot sharp on the cam. Slash for my site is one. Not demo. Not demo. There you go. Push this information up. Click that. Okay. Um, that. Okay. Two. Okay. So connect here. Wait, wait. Okay. So the script what you have to done is this one. You have to use a setup.sh like it's mentioned is here. The site URL. The site URL is this one. I just created a, a previously a site to uh, win some time. This is a modern communication site of Sharp Online. So you can just use this URL. So site. Um, this is site URL that here. After that, so you have to use tracking URL. Tracking URL is the Matomos server URL that you have to use to connect to the analytics. So in my case, it's localhost. That's zero two zero, And you have to, to precise the tracking ID like that. Tracking site ID, and in my case, if you remember, it's one. So if I use that, my script should automatically deploy uh, the Matomo Analytics package on the site app catalog. In my case, my site collection uses its own app site catalog, like this. So the first type of Matomo Analytics is deployed, and it should be installed. There you go. So you have just wait some minutes uh, uh, until the package is totally deployed. So by the way, in the meantime, I just parameter my Matomo to show in a real time the counter of a live user. So to do that, like real live visitor. So with that, we can so we can show uh, we have a, in a real life, in real time some visits on the site collection. So this is enabled now. Yeah, perfect. So if I'm just go into the several page and then perform a search on Sharpen, like that. Okay. Once I come back to Matemo, and refresh this first time. There we go. Yeah, one user. Perfect. So visit log. What do you can what you can see? So you can show uh, the user the several pages uh, we visited on the search platform too. So they are just a, a, an issue on uh, this uh, current uh, version of um, Matomo server is because currently the ID of the user is random. So if you have several users and them use several browsers, you can have uh, a lot of uh, uh, visitor profile. So uh, to increase uh, the severity and the increase the performance, you can easily add uh, the user credential as login name to have a unique user based on Sharpon online uh, information. So to do that, system action. Lists from you. I use this one. Cool. I remove the, the current system action to add another um, parameter of my command line. So I remove this one. But you, sorry. Up. Like that. And um, ID for remove the ID one. Okay, uh, oops, what's wrong? Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, double dash, sorry. Okay, so I reuse the setup one, but I add uh, some information in addition to from, uh, information like uh, track user ID. And expected value is two or one. And to avoid to redeploy each time all of package in the app catalog, I just say bypass all of previous. So I should up oh, no, checkpoint, sorry. Checkpoint should be 
Yes. Okay, so I'll just enable the uh, Matomo Analytics function only with the additional information like track user ID. So if I come back to the, my server one of SharePoint, so I just switch between several pages like that. And I'll perform another search. Why not? Okay, no results. Per. And I come back to here, some dashboard. I always one user. And if I go log to, yeah, my, my user is authenticated. So now, you know exactly which user is hitting your shop on site. This is great. Um, you have a lot of information of Matomo uh, server directly on website that should be provide some information. So you can show easily my post on my personal blog. The source template is based on my GitLab server. And if you have any uh, need any information about the JavaScript integration, you can easily go to Matomo websites. And if you go just a little bit on the code, this is based on the instruction on the SharePoint SPFX 181. On the server side here, you have uh, the supported parameters. And the code is pretty simple because on the event, uh, you have two events that are captured by the code. The first one is a change event, is used for the search. When you uh, perform a search from the reader, this uh, event will catch um, exactly at, the, at this time. And when you navigate between several pages, you can use navigate events. All of this will be initialized uh, some script by real initialized navigation event, and we have a partial uh, navigation too on Charmant Online. So to do that, I integrate um, by using a function uh, based on the pack. So uh, this is a Matomo uh, sample script that I added directly on the Charmant site, and I create a function that can be called later on the refresh page when is a uh, for example, a search or when you uh, have a partial uh, site. And after that, you just have to call this one, and uh, that's it. It's okay for me, done. Cool, great demo there from Laurent. Thank you, really appreciate your time putting those together.